Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday's Daily Prayers. I hope you're all well. It's good to have you here with us on YouTube and welcome to those who are joining us on the phone. You'll find the words to the prayers in the box below this video screen if you don't have the prayer booklet. If you need any further information, the details for Ian, our minister, are there also. As usual, we'll give people just a little more time to join us. During this time, we can calm ourselves, our minds, our hearts, our bodies and our spirits as we prepare to come before God. Let's take a few moments. The peace of Christ be with us all. Let us say together. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and earth. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us with your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, God, our Maker, Jesus, our Mediator, Holy Spirit, our Comforter. We now turn to the Psalms and today I'm going to read Psalm 112. Psalm 112. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who finds great delight in his commands. His children will be mighty in the land, the generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house, and his righteousness endures for ever. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright, for the gracious and compassionate and righteous man. Good will come to him who is generous and lends freely who conducts his affairs with justice. Surely he will never be shaken. A righteous man will be remembered forever. He will have no fear of bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is secure. He will have no fear. In the end, he will look in triumph on his foes. He has scattered abroad his gifts to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn will be lifted high in honour. The wicked man will see and be vexed. He will gnash his teeth and waste away. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. Amen. Now let us say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. We continue reading from the Gospel of Mark, and today I'm reading from chapter 2, verses 23 to 28. It says, One Sabbath, Jesus was going through the cornfields and his disciples walked along. They began to pick some ears of corn. The Pharisees said to him, Look, why are you doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? 
He answered, Have you never read what David did when he and his companions were hungry and in need? In the days of Abathar, the high priest, he entered the house of God and ate the consecrated bread, which is lawful only for priests to eat. And he also gave some to his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. Amen. Now we turn to a time of prayer, where we'll use the first prayer on the sheet, which is followed by a time of silence. This is where we can lift things which are on our hearts and the things that God lays on our hearts. Let's pray together. Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling over all creation. We trust in your never failing love, knowing that even in the hardest of times and most difficult of situations, you are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear our prayers, which we make in his name. We pray in silence.
we continue together. <clears throat> you are the beginning and the end. All time is in your hands. All people under your care. Look with mercy upon our broken world, O oh God, and in your loving kindness provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, we humbly ask, and do not allow us to be slow in answering your call to serve you in love and sacrifice. To the glory of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, who, at the last, through wood and nails, purchased our salvation, wield well your tools in the workshop of the world, so that we, who come rough-hewn to your bench, may here be fashioned to a truer beauty by your hand. We ask this for your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself give us peace at all times and in all ways, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all. Amen. Thanks for joining us today and we hope to see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe. Bye for now.